today. And it's live right outside our studio. Brought to you by iVillage.com. Next Saturday, Stomp. And coming up, Les Miserables, Cats, Chicago, Rent, Jekyll and Hyde, and more. It's Broadway on Today, every Saturday morning. So we're back. There were some great little kids outside that I think came here to see Beauty and the Beast, and they were getting rained on. So we said, you know what? We had to bring Beauty and the Beast inside, but we'd bring them inside. Leave too. their parents outside to get wet, oh, but right. bring that's the right. kids inside. You've got to be a certain age to get in. If you're a little too older, you're still outside under the umbrella out there. But we brought this gang in. They got a chance to see a little bit of Beauty and the Beast anyway. Huh? Everybody, turn around and take a good look at the Beast. Tell me, how scary do you think the Beast is? He's pretty scary, huh? No. <laughs> <laughs> this is pre the change. But you, sh you should see how, how nice looking Steve is when he's out of this costume. Thank you. Trust us. Thank he you. really is. The fa fact is, Steve, nobody wants to stand next to you. Yeah, no, it's like everybody's kind of heading out this way. I've always and been stuff. Lonely. Tell me about, about getting into this outfit. How long does it take you to get ready for the production? Originally, it took about uh, two and a half hours because it had lots of latex and, uh, and lots of um, uh, different moldings to the face. But now now it's, it's, it's quite uh, speedy. They've gotten it all smoothed out. It's like anything else. The more you do it, the quicker it is. He does. sleeps uh -huh. in the outfit and then just <laughs> puts it we, <laughs> Well, we had, a, we had a great change going on. Andrea sung a few moments ago the first song, and then the folks at home didn't see is that she took off out in the hallway, and we gave her about two minutes to get changed from the one outfit into this one. And as we were getting close, and we were saying, OK, we got 10 seconds, we got five, and finally we looked at Soledad and said, do you know the song? Can you, can, you, can, you, well. can you pick it up and start with this until Andrea gets here? Uh, you know, in the Broadway show, Mrs. Potts, you have a fabulous steaming arm. Yes. Her, this arm that's up there that, of course, is the I'm little mouth. Not quite brewing yet this morning. <laughs> not brewing yet, but how does that work in the show? Because you're always steaming. That's <laughs> how it oh, works. It's Disney magic. <laughs> So there. Do we believe that? Oh, we don't want to we tell all the secrets, do we? I'll just, I'll just tell you this. I, I don't get burned. I don't get burned by the steam, so it's safe. It's all right. Let me ask uh, all you guys something. Uh, have you ever seen either the movie Annie or a production of the show Annie? Have you any guys seen it? And, and do you know who the, the very first Annie? You do? Right. <laughs> Does she, tra does she travel with you? I think you're about to be signed as soon as this is over. Actually, the whole new generation is going to get to see Disney's new movie, Annie, that comes on in November. And I have, I have to say, and I, I'm very picky on the subject, it's, it's, gonna, it's fabulous. And this is, it's, a whole, it's a great production for a whole new generation. Are you TV involved in it in any way? I do a cameo in it. But that's not why I thought it was great. The casting, they used real Broadway people for the Broadway show, and, and it's really more like the show than the movie ever was. So I'm so happy that this generation's going to get to see it in, you know, about, in the about, right, in a great production. How about production. your own daughter, your own 10-year-old daughter? When did she first see any production of Annie? She fell in love, well, with Annie. We yeah. didn't really talk about Annie too much. I'm, I didn't know in the CD, and my dad finally gave her the CD, <laughs> and she enjoys it. Um, I just didn't have it in the house. But um, uh, Les Mis was, Les Miserables was the show that she absolutely fell in love with very young at four and um she's still you know she's still that 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 hit her hard that was like her and, and for revelation. good reason thanks to all the cast beauty and beast and all you guys thanks for coming in thanks for dry. coming in see you tomorrow everybody take care